The most distant human-made object is NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, which has reached the vast realm of interstellar space. Imagine launching a spacecraft 45 years ago and still exploring regions it was never expected to reach, far beyond its original lifespan. That's the astounding reality of a NASA mission that is reshaping space exploration. But there's something even more captivating, this bold spacecraft is not just millions of miles away from its launch site but continues to transmit data back to Earth using technology older than a cassette player. And there's more. Launched in 1977, the spacecraft recently made a discovery that has startled the scientific community and caught the world's attention. What could this astonishing find in the depths of space be, and what could it mean for us on Earth? A historic turning point. There was a crucial moment when two of the most extraordinary space missions ever launched opened up a new era of space exploration. Thanks to the innovative thinking of Gary Flandro at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, a perfect route was charted for the probes to reach the distant planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Using just a pencil and modern engineering tools, Flandro made a remarkable discovery in the late 1970s and early 1980s, the four gas giants would align in a rare cosmic arrangement, forming a kind of celestial chain with Earth. This alignment would enable spacecraft passing close to each planet to gain speed through gravitational assists, as if being pulled along by an invisible tether. Taking advantage of this gravitational boost, a journey that would normally take 30 years from Earth to Neptune was shortened to just 12 years. However, there was a catch, this alignment occurs only once every 176 years. Faced with such a rare opportunity, NASA moved quickly and launched two identical spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, just 15 days apart in the summer of 1977. Little did they know these twin explorers would set records in the history of space missions. The Epic Voyager Journey More than 45 years after their launch, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are still operational, sending back data daily from the outermost reaches of our solar system. These probes have become the most distant human-made objects, having ventured far beyond initial expectations. This is particularly impressive given that their original mission was only supposed to last four years. These interstellar explorers brought with them many surprises. Early in their journeys, they provided spectacular close-up images of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, revealing worlds far more active and dynamic than expected. The discovery of active volcanoes and icy landscapes transformed our understanding of these distant regions. Voyager 2, in particular, became the first spacecraft to visit Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989, being the only probe to explore these planets, and it astonished scientists with remarkable findings in uncharted territories. Traveling over 14 billion kilometers from Earth, these Volkswagen Beetle-sized probes have exceeded all expectations and continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge. The Voyager's journey started with a gravity assist maneuver around Venus, a daring move never attempted by any previous spacecraft on its route to Mercury, making them true pioneers. Reaching Jupiter took the spacecraft ten times the distance from Earth to Mercury, requiring them to pass through the hazardous asteroid belt, a challenge previously undertaken by the Pioneer 10 and 11 missions. But the obstacles didn't end there. With just 69 kilobytes of memory, a mere fraction of the storage in a modern smartphone, the onboard computers had to function autonomously to handle the complexities of this extraordinary mission. Data collected by instruments on the Voyager spacecraft were stored on tape recorders before being transmitted to Earth using a transmitter that operated on just 23 watts, about the same power as a light bulb. The probes were equipped with 12-foot diameter antennae to enable communication. They used radio signals traveling at the speed of light to send and receive messages, but the increasing distance from Earth, advancing by three or four light seconds each day, presented significant challenges. For instance, signals from Voyager 2 took over 18 hours to reach Earth, and background noise from radios, televisions, cell phones, and other sources made it increasingly difficult to detect the faint signals from the spacecraft. Despite these hurdles, the Voyager probes have continued to astonish astronomers with unexpected discoveries in the interstellar void. Their mission has rewritten our understanding of the cosmos and shifted our perspective on the unknown. Beyond our solar system Beyond the boundaries of our solar system lies the enigmatic Oort cloud, a vast collection of comet-like objects held together by the sun's gravity, extending to the nearest star. Although the Voyagers are still gradually moving toward this distant region, their entry into interstellar space began when they crossed the heliopause, the boundary separating our solar system from the interstellar medium. 
This boundary was initially estimated to be about 50 astronomical units from Earth, prompting continued funding for the mission as the probes approached this milestone. However, crossing this boundary did not immediately reveal any drastic environmental changes, leaving scientists puzzled. The transition into interstellar space was expected to be marked by a significant increase in the number of cosmic rays, high-energy particles nearly traveling at the speed of light, originating from supernovae and other cosmic events. Yet, most of these high-energy rays are deflected by the magnetic shield created by the heliosphere, which safeguards our solar system from many external threats. The Voyager mission team also closely monitored any changes in the prevailing magnetic field as the spacecraft ventured into the interstellar medium, an environment composed of ionized gases influenced by nearby stars. The interstellar magnetic field was expected to differ in orientation compared to that within the heliosphere. However, the Voyager probes did not observe any significant changes in the magnetic field. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 finally crossed the heliopause and sent back intriguing data confirming the anticipated increase in plasma density, though without evidence of a shift in the magnetic fields. This was surprising, as it was expected that transitioning from a region dominated by the solar magnetic field to one influenced by other stars would result in a noticeable change in the magnetic field's direction. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.